It is yet again time to fix another animatronic. Now, a lot of people don't know that I actually own this animatronic. It was an animatronic I bought in the November or like 50% off November 1st sale. And because she was also broken at the time, which all of these animatronics are, I got her for even cheaper for like $30. Before we move on to actually fixing her, let's show you what she looks like. There it is. 2023 eternal rest now if you have any knowledge with spirit halloween animatronics and you've seen this animatronic before i already can guarantee that you know what's wrong with this thing to those of you who don't let me turn her on so you guys can see With the head off, we need to pretty much take off all four of these screws here, take this off, and I assume that there is a broken, ripped, or just fallen off belt that I need to replace. And then on top of that, I assume they re the relay switch is bent. So let's see if she even is fixable. Whether she's fixable or not, the only thing that I want to do is actually, let's say she doesn't work. The only thing that I want to do past that point is take out the motor so she doesn't make that screeching noise. So at least she just screams and she's ecstatic because I'd rather her be ecstatic than her head constantly spinning or not spinning and just making a screeching noise that I really don't like listening to. In my case, I assume there are two things wrong with this animatronic, but we're going to actually see what is wrong. All right, let's see what's, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, okay, there's the belt. Knew that was one of the problems, but it's definitely not both of the problems. Oh yeah, there's a relay switch. What the heck? Okay, I need to take a closer look and look at this off camera because this relay switch, at least off a of first glance, looks so broken. Oh my goodness. First and foremost, hopefully this is in focus. I can't see the camera right now, but <clears throat> so yes, this here is just a belt that needs to be replaced. I thought it was um, a belt and a broken relay switch or a bent relay switch. That's what I said at the beginning of the video. And it turns out that I am actually correct in the sense that we do need to replace the belt here. And this relay switch for whatever reason is like, really broken so it's hard to get really a close-up here but this metal piece here I don't know if you can see that whether that's in focus or not I'll zoom it in but that metal piece there is um, supposed to click this red piece which you can kind of see it um, and when it clicks that in it's pretty much telling it to stop uh, so what I'm gonna try to do, because I noticed that what it's doing is when this is spinning, it's um, not actually hitting it enough. So what I'm gonna attempt to do is put like a glue dab here or or something because, actually I can't do a glue dab because of this piece here. Um, nonetheless, I'm gonna see what I can do. Maybe put a glue dab here so when it passes it and it, it has a larger area to hit, but I'm gonna see what I can do. Um, I'll try the glue dab first. If that doesn't work, then we'll try something else. Hey, you! Don't watch that! Watch this! This is the heavy, heavy monster sound! The nuts is sound around! So if you come in off the street... Alright, so... I've spent the... I've spent the last, like, 15 minutes taking this off. I don't know if you remember it from before, but it's, like, gone now. Like, I just cut it off because I don't need it um so now i'm able to put glue on this piece and it can turn without getting in the way so i'm gonna start gluing it hopefully this is long enough yeah it is okay what i'm gonna attempt to do 
is I'm just gonna see what it what it does. I'll end up taking it off if it doesn't work, but I just wanna see if I put like a massive dab of glue like right there. I'm just curious. This is like a test. This isn't this isn't the final product. I don't wanna put that there and see if it's like thick enough to actually now hit the relay switch. Cause this is plastic. I can just take it off if it doesn't work. All right, so this hot glue piece actually works for one of these sides. One of the things that I didn't realize is that there is a relay switch on this side and there isn't on this side. It's actually missing it. It got lost, it broke off, I don't know. So I need to see what I can do to make like a makeshift like redneck version of a relay switch. All right, so I've been working with this thing for the last couple of hours. I mean, I haven't been sitting here in front of it. I took a break, came back, and if I'm being fully honest, I think the easiest thing that I could do would just be to take the motor out. Now, as you can see here, not only do I not have a relay switch on this side, but this relay switch is really bent up. Now you can see, I did a lot of attempts off camera to see what I can do, but nothing works because of the way her head also spins backwards. Really nothing works. And no matter what I do, something is breaking even worse every time she turns on. So it might just be better to take the motor out. Now, of course, I'm not gonna break the motor. I'm just gonna take up off all of the wires because it can easily be soldered back on. And that way I can still preserve the motor and use it for something else in the future if I chose to eventually. So yeah, let's, let's just take it apart. I'm actually just realizing that everything in here is actually just, it just needs to be unplugged. So I'm actually just gonna unplug them. That way this motor, I don't even need to rip apart any wires. This piece is actually broken, so I kind of just need to glue it back together. Should be fine. Hopefully that works. That little glue spot, but if it doesn't, it doesn't. All right, I got this piece glued and taped and whatever. Got it all like put together as best as I can. Now I'm gonna put this back like that. Could just glue it. I think I might just glue it because I don't really plan to get in here very much. One time I do, I doubt a couple dabs of hot glue is, is going to really prevent me from opening back, opening it back up. Drop this down on it. There we go. Just like that, we can put the head back on. That's where it goes. There we go. And technically I can still spin it, but probably just gonna leave it in the scary position for now, at least. Now this was definitely more of a take apart than it was really fixing. So it was really just like an attempt of a fix. I kind of knew that this would happen though, because these eternal rests break often. I got her for like $30, so I wasn't getting her in hopes to fix her. I was more just getting her because I really enjoy Spirit Halloween Tombstone props. So yeah, it was more just like, I knew it was gonna be static and the noise was really bugging me from the motor. So I thought I'd turn it off or at least just unplug it. So without any further ado, let's show you a demo of what she's like, you know, just without the motor noise. 
Now something that happened to mine as well is the wire in her eyes completely like tore, like it ripped in half. So I don't have a light up eyes. What I might do is add a battery pack and just replace the eyes. But for now, it's just, it's just this. You know, nothing too special. Just the motor screech isn't really there anymore. Definitely more of a weirder fixing video because usually mine actually go through and they, they work. At the end, this time it didn't. I knew it wouldn't though, so I'm, I'm not very upset about it. I just am like kind of bummed out that I couldn't get really that good content, but still I'll upload it so you guys can see kind of the process of even the ones that don't end up working exactly as I planned. But Without any further ado, that does wrap up my video of attempting to fix the 2023 Eternal Rest. It didn't work exactly as planned, but that is totally okay with me. At least I got the motor sound out of there, so something about it is better. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to. It's entirely your choice. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.